Hello and thanks for being here with me today. My name is Anna Hellman and today I want to share with you about two little tiny products for your card making and other paper craft purposes that can really add a lot to your projects. These are shimmer paints and we have two colors. This one is called Frost White and this one is Champagne Mist. And in this video, I'm going to share with you seven different ways that you can use this product to embellish and add a lot to your products in a lot of different ways. So let's get started. The first one is to mix your paint with either water or rubbing alcohol in a spritzer, a little spritzer misting bottle to spritz over your projects. So I have already added rubbing alcohol in here and there is just a little bit of the shimmer paint already in there, but I want to add some more. So you can fill this up as far as you want with your rubbing alcohol. You wanna shake your paint before you use it. And then we're going to drop a few drops of this into the bottle. So you can play around with this and see how much you like to add. Depends on how shimmery you want it to be. But I'm going to drop in there goes one drop, and the drops are very large because it's very thick. I'll drop in four drops. You can try a few, like I said, play around with it, see how it turns out. Once it's in there, you wanna give it a good shake to make sure it's mixed up with either your rubbing alcohol or your water. I do recommend using rubbing alcohol because it dries a lot faster on your projects. So shake that up. Now I'm going to bring in a card that I finished here not too long ago, very simple, but I'm going to spritz this all over. So I'm going to hold this back maybe 10 inches and direct it down at the card and spritz it over the top. And it did curl up the top of my card just a little bit. Water would make that worse, but let me hold this up and see if you can get an appreciation for the glimmer that is on this card now. So it adds just a really beautiful sheen over the top. Now the alcohol is still drying so I can see a few splatters but once the alcohol dries that will completely go away. Here is an envelope. When you are spritzing you can spritz anything. You can spritz your decorations in your house. You can spritz your scrapbook pages, your stamping projects, anything you want. So this is an envelope I've prepared for a card you'll see in it here in a little bit, but you can spritz your envelopes. You can spritz anything. So that's a really fun way to use this shimmer paint. The second way I like to use the shimmer paint is by sponging it over a project. So here I'm going to use the champagne mist. I used the frost white on my spritzing project here a second ago, if you're curious. Now I'll use the champagne mist and I've used the sponge quite a few times, but I'm just gonna turn it upside down and get some on there. And now I am free to sponge that all over my cardstock or any part of my project that I want to. You do wanna try to get it spread out nicely because you can get swirls from your sponge if you're not careful. That does create a neat look, but if you're trying to get it without the swirls, then you'll just want to spread it out nicely. So there you can see how gorgeous of a sheen this gives that paper. Now let me show you two examples of how I've used this on my projects. Here are some cards I created recently, and I can link to this where you can watch the video for these. But see the overlays for the butterflies, how they shimmer? I... I sponged my frost white shimmer paint over vellum for these and they turned out just absolutely beautifully. And then I have another one here that believe it or not, what I want you to focus on is the shells, this die cut on top, not all that foil paper in the background, but believe it or not, this paper right here was crumb cake. It was just a tan regular cardstock. I stamped it with the shells. I added a little color with some blending brushes, but then I sponged the champagne mist shimmer paint over top and it just turned out amazing. I just love that. So that's the second way to use shimmer paint. The third way is with 
a water painter or little water paint brushes. And this is a way that I really enjoy. So I'm going to shut this back up and show you how I use this sometimes. So I'll shake it up, take the top off, and then I can dip right in here and get some of that paint on my brush. Now I will warn you, if you do this, you will have little sparkles coming out of your paintbrush for quite a while in the future. They don't all come out right away when you just try to wipe this on your paper. So when you want to get the extra out, you can wipe it on your paper and a lot of them will come out. But keep in mind, it will not all come out right away. So that is my warning. I don't really mind that. I love a little extra sparkle on my projects. So you can pick up some like this and add it with your water painter. So there you can see some of those accents on a few of those flowers. The fourth way you can use shimmer paint is to stamp with it. So this is a little bit different than anything we've done before. What I want to do first is pour some of my shimmer paint onto my silicone craft mat here. And I want to use a sponge to spread it out wherever I'm going to be inking that stamp. So I have a fairly large stamp here. I need to make sure that there is paint all across the silicone craft sheet where that is going to touch. Now that is the wrong one. Let's use some more of the champagne mist. And you can get this as thick or as thin as you like. I keep getting a piece of stray something in there. I'll get that out. The thicker it is, the more it's going to show up. Keep in mind, this probably will not come out as bold as ink does. It is going to be more of a transparent color. Okay, so I want to ink this up really good. Now, quickly, before your paint starts to dry, you want to bring in your cardstock, give it a good press, and stamp that. Now, since I'm using the apparatus, I could repeat this a second time if I want to, but I think this creates a really neat, uh, very, like I said, transparent color where you can see exactly what that says, but it's just uh, a little, what's the word I'm looking for? Less obvious, I'm looking for a different word, but just a really neat look and very different from stamping with ink. Now here's another card I created with this. I used this stamp set with a really big floral stamp and stamped in the background with that shimmer paint. So there's another sample of how you can stamp with it. Another way you can use the shimmer paint is to add little embellishments, little droplet embellishments to your projects. So here is the snail card that goes with this cute envelope I spritzed a little bit ago. And I am going to use the stylus part of my Take Your Pick tool because it's perfectly round and get a little bit of paint. I'm not sure. Let's see if I have enough down in there. There, I got some. And I am just going to press that directly to my project. And this is going to create a fairly small little droplet. I'm just going to put three of these in a row. This is going to create a fairly small droplet, but if I wanted a larger droplet, I could use a different item. I could use the end of a paintbrush or the eraser on a pencil to add larger droplets if I wanted to. But that's a fun way just to add pretty little embellishments. Now this next way is a lot of fun. Maybe a little bit messy, I will warn you, but we're going to bring the aqua painter back and we are going to use the shimmer paint to add some splatters to this project. So I'm going to squeeze this and make sure I have plenty of water down in the tip of my brush. And I saw a droplet fall down in there, so there should be quite a bit. I'm going to pick up some of that paint, squeeze until I see more water going down, and I can see that is almost ready to drip. So when it is to that point, I can hold it right over my project 
or I can come right behind my project back here and I am just going to hit that on my hand. I'm gonna squeeze some more water, hit that on my hand and little splatters are falling all over my project right now. So hold this up, see if you can see these. Can you see those? Now, right now you're also seeing water mixed in, but as that dries, then it's going just going to be just those fun splatters. And one last way you can use this is basically repeating any of what I've just shared with you, but adding color to it. So let's say you want some seaside spray shimmer paint. Maybe you want to spritz this over your project. Maybe you want to use your aqua painter and color on a project with it. You can get some of your paint. Mix it with that color and then use it that way. So I'll bring back this card and bring in this card again that I had shown you the first time. And now maybe I'll add some color to some of the flowers that didn't have any color at all and make them just a real subtle blue color. So you can make your shimmer paint any color you want with your ink refill bottles. So there you have it, seven different ways to use our shimmer paint. I hope this gives you some fun ideas of how you could use this on your own projects. You can find links to the products I've used today in the video description below. And you can also find a link to my blog with more information on today's projects. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, comment, and share this video. And I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you again next time.